Hey everybody, it's Andrew Martin coming to you with another Monday Minute. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. Happy Monday. Um, and here I am again with another message to start us off um, with a little bit of uh, spiritual mental exercise, so to speak. Something for us to think about, something for us to meditate on, something to perhaps spark a discussion between ourselves and our friends or our family and loved ones. Um, and as always, my intention with um, these messages is, um, you know, it really comes down to uh, self and through spirit, you know, helping us find a way to create that path to our inner self, to our to that uh, that space within us that we all carry, that divine spark, to really begin to create the life that we desire for ourselves and the life that we envision for ourselves. And that really is such a nice segue into today's topic um, that comes from the Word Picks album. If you haven't gone to my web um, website, there is a, a on the right hand side of my website there is a word cloud um, that has um, different tags for each topic that I talk about on there. And you can click on the Word Picks topic, or you can go to my Facebook page and look at the the album there called Word Picks. And they're basically just little nuggets of information, um, visual visual. Um, uh, cues, so to speak, for things to think about or things to talk about or things to begin to uh, to look at from a new perspective. Um, and today is all about um, the one that says only you can decide whether or not you are worthy of all that you desire. And I think that that is such a powerful message right now for the times that we live in when we are so used to believing that we have to wait for someone else outside of us to decide whether or not we are worthy of the things that we desire for ourselves, you know, whether it's a an authority figure or a parental figure or someone in our lives or a religious figure or even a you know our perception of a deity or a god or or a holy figure outside of us we've gotten so used to this idea that we somehow have to wait for someone else to tell us whether or not we are worthy of having what we want and that simply is not true we are powerful divine beings with our own powers of creation and we are we have powers beyond belief and beyond measure and we are the ones that get to decide what it is that we want for ourselves and we are the ones that get to align with that divine spark that we all hold inside of us our infinite intelligence our higher self our source our god whatever you want to call it we are all part of that there is no separation we are all one and we are all connected to that source from which we come so ultimately what it comes down to is that god wants what we want the reason that we are here on this planet in this lifetime is to experience our life as ourselves in a, another aspect of the divine. There is only ever going to be one Andrew Martin and really the reason that I came here, the reason that I am here ultimately is so that the divine can have the experience of the human embodiment of Andrew Martin and what does that mean and what does that look like and that's why I'm here. And so whenever I set my, whenever we set our minds to something and we align with our hearts and it is a very true, very um, very strong desire within us and we begin to align our thoughts and our actions and our feelings with that desire, it will begin to come to us in ways that we have never expected. And we are the ones that get to decide whether or not we are worthy of what we want. Because the universe wants for us what we want for ourselves. The universe wants to us to be happy. Our, nat our natural state is one of joy and one of ease and one of abundance. And we have been tricked, I think, in a lot of ways into believing that we have to wait for someone else to give us what we're waiting for, or give us what we want. And I get it. You know, you grow up in a certain part of the world or you grow up in a certain time of uh, on this planet and it's so easy to begin to believe that someone else has the power and that someone else gets to decide who, what it is that we get and what it is that we're worthy. But the thing that we always have control over and the thing that we can always begin with is how we feel. And everything starts with how we feel. Everything starts with a feeling. Everything starts with a desire. Everything starts with a thought. And it all builds from there. So the minute that we can begin to consciously take control of how we feel and consciously remember that, no, I'm the one that gets to decide whether or not I'm happy. I'm the one that gets to decide whether or not I'm having a great day or if I'm not having a great day. I'm the one that gets to decide what it is that I want from my life and whether or not I'm going to get it. So I think if we can begin to reclaim our power and begin to live our lives with this idea that we are the ones that get to decide what we are worthy of, then we can begin to really create the lives that we want for ourselves. Now, of course, it's going to take some effort. Of course, it's going to take some conscious focusing of learning how to control our emotions, learning how to control our thoughts, learning how to pick how we feel, learning how to unravel those unconscious vibrations so we can really get to the heart of what our beliefs are. And the best way to do 
that is to begin to look at what is physically present in our lives now because everything that we have manifested physically is a really clear indicator of how we feel about ourselves, how we feel about the world, how we feel about our place in the world, and how we feel about our worthiness and whether or not we can have the things that we want. You know, it is a process. It is a step-by-step, moment-to-moment, feeling-to-feeling process of really beginning to create what we want. And I know that it can sometimes feel daunting. It can sometimes feel overwhelming. It can sometimes feel like, well, that's very easy for you to say because you have more than I do or someone has more power than I do. The only thing that ever keeps the perception of someone else, someone else having control or power over us is our continuing to believe and to buy in to the perception that someone else has power or control over us. The minute that we begin to challenge those preconceived ideas and we begin to, to disbelieve that someone else is in control of our lives, we begin to bring our power back to us and we begin to take control and take the reins of our life back. So that's my message for today. We are the ones that get to decide whether or not we are worthy of all that we deserve desire. And if we ever doubt that, all we have to do is begin to look at the physical reality of our here and now and know that we are the divine creators, we are the ones that have brought everything to us, and we are the ones that can change that through our thoughts, through our feelings, and through how we align with those. So start small. Start by, before you get out of bed in the morning, saying, I am going to do everything that I can to stay as happy as I can for as long as I can. I am going to do everything I can today to believe and to show to myself that I am the one that creates my own reality and that I am the one that creates my own life. I am a powerful creator. I am divinely guided. I am a powerful being. I am the one who gets to decide how I feel. I am happy. I am healthy. I am living in the stream of abundance that is my birthright and that is rightfully mine. And the more we begin to say those things, the more that we begin to vibrate at those frequencies, the more we will begin to see things open up for us and to see the things start to unravel for us that we don't want, and the more we'll be able to consciously choose what we do want. So start now. Start today and start by believing that you are the one that gets to decide what you're worthy of and you are the one that gets to say yes to the things that you want to say yes to. As always, I thank you for watching. I invite you to go to my website, take a peek around, shoot me an email, let me know how this works for you. If you have any questions, I'm always opening, open to answering them. Go to my Facebook page if you want to receive all this information. I, I send all my videos and all my stuff to my Facebook page as well. Um, you know, Drop me a line there if that's the easiest thing for you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic week, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.